Hello everyone, welcome back to my another tutorial. In these video I will show you have to design watch UI concept like these. Let's get started. I will be using these images and icon and the color sample in this page for the design. From the top left hand of the Photoshop select new to create new artwork and from the pop out menu. Width 1920 pixels. Height 1080 pixels. Resolution 300 pixels. Name the document according to your choice. Make sure you make it 16-bit document and hit create to create the artwork. Now unlock the lock icon artwork layer from the layer panel and rename it BG which is our background. Now let's make gradient background from the color sample just as you see in these video, adjust the color by navigating to the file sample page and copy the color and paste it in the color sections just as you see me doing. Double click on the BG layer and from the pop out menu adjust the color by pasting the copy color codes to the gradient panel and hit OK. Do the same for the next color panel of the gradient. Make sure that you make it a radio gradient and adjust the gradient just as you see me do in this video. We are using dark blue color for our background. Now let's add noise to the gradient background to make it look smooth and cool. From the top panel of the Photoshop, select filter and from the drop down menu select noise and enter the value seen in these video. And from the layer panel change the bled mode to multiply. Now let's set up guides for the design, select rectangle tool from the tool panel and right click on the foreground background of the design and from the pop out menu add the value you see and hit ok, move the shape to the top left hand edge of the background. Hit Ctrl R on your keyboard to activate the ruler and drag from the top of the panel and drop the line just as you see me do. Do the same for the edges of the background just as you see. Let's add the watch to the design background. Drag in our watch from the sample page and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T from Mac to transform the image and adjust according to our design perspectives just like these. I think we need to adjust the sides guides to make more space for our text and other icons. Perfect. Now let's make shadow for our watch, select the ellipse tool and make a shape like these and make sure that color of the shape is black, move the shape to be under the watch panel just as you see. Now we need to add blur to the shape we make for our watch shadow. From the top panel of the Photoshop select filter and from the drop down menu select blur and then Gaussian blur and from the pop out menu set the value you see. Now let's start adding our icon, first drag in the customize icon and change the color to white, by selecting the effect from the bottom of the layer panel and select color overlay and choose white color. Then hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform and resize the, the icon and move it to the top right side of the design just as you see me do. Just in the same way do the same to the rest icon, drag in the cart icon and the search icon adjust them just as we do to the customize icon and resize accordingly. I will skip this part so that I don't keep you waiting. Let's add the logo for our design. Drag in the logo and change the color to white by going to the bottom of layer panel and select the effect icon and from the pop out menu select color overlay change the color to white and hit ok. Then hit ctrl plus T on windows or command plus T on Mac to transform and resize the logo if required. Drag it to the top left side of the design just as you see in these. Also let add our social media icon, using the method that we have been using, Drag in the social media icon and adjust resize them accordingly and move them to the bottom down side of the design just as you see. I will also skip these part. Perfect. Now let's add our text. Select the type tool from the tool panel and type smartwatch. I will be using Coolvetica font for these design. 
change the color of the text to white and change the font size value to 14 point, and the leading to 14 point also and adjust and set according to our design perspectives. Now let's add shape placeholder for other text. Select the rectangle tool and right click on the background and from the pop out menu set this value. Width 130 pixels and height 300 pixels and hit OK. Drag and move to the top left side of the design just as you see. Change the color to mimic the watch color by selecting sample color from the watch. Then from the layer properties of the shape created, let's adjust the edges of left and right radius as seen in these video. Let's set up guides to give a clear cut between the text and the icons, just like these. Let's zoom in and see what we have done so far. I think we need to adjust the social media icons a bit, select all the social media icon together and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform and adjust the size just like these. Perfect. Also let's adjust the size of the top icons select them together and hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform and adjust the size just like these. Perfect. Zoom out to add other. And now let's group the layer. Select all the icons and social media icons and the shape we have made so far and group them and name them icons. Let's add product description to our design, select the type tool and click and drag on the background and make a default text just like these. And set the value of the, the text to 3 point and change the color to white color. Now let's add other text placeholder shape. Select the rectangle tool and right click on the background and from the pop out menu set these value width 120 pixels and height 65 pixels and hit OK to create the shape. Move the shape to the left side and bottom of our product description text just like these. I think we need to change the width of the shape let's select the shape properties panel and change the width size to 230 pixels. Let's make the shape corner roundness to 32.5 pixels. Now change the color of the shape to mimic the watch, just like these. Now duplicate the shape and change the size as seen in these video width 180 pixels and height 65 pixels, move it to the side of the other shape just as you see. Now from the shape properties panel set the fill color to none and make the stroke color the same color of the other shape and change the size to 2 pixels. Select the two shape and move them down a bit. And also the text description and move it down a bit, also let's change the font size of the text to 2.3 point. Let's name the shape, the first shape to text placeholder 1 and the second text placeholder 2. So let's add text to the text placeholder we have make. Select the type tool and type add to cart and make the size 3 point and also change the color to black color just like these. Select the type tool and type $199 for the second text placeholder, and set the text value to 4 point and change the color to mimic the color of the watch just as you see me do, you can use the color of your choice I am just showing you example. Make the font bold. And now let's add our product selector color. Select the ellipse tool and make a small circle just like these. Select type tool and type color selector. Make to size value 2.5 point and change the color to white and make this adjustment to the text descriptions, so that our text will all align accordingly. Now duplicate the circle we have make 3 time and set them according and we are going to change the colors. Then from the layer panel change the shape names according to color just as you see me do. The first one white, the second gold and the third one red and the fourth color green. Now select the ellipse tool and make another circle just like these. 
From the shape properties panel change the fill color to none and make the stroke color white so that it can serve as color selector indicator for our design. Now move the text description down a bit. Also adjust the placeholder text and the text just as seen in these video. Now let's add our product specification description to our design. Select the ellipse tool and right click on our background and set the value as seen. Width 14 pixels and height 14 pixels and hit OK to create the small circle. Now duplicate the circles 3 times and move them according to our design perspectives as you see me do in these video. And change the color of the circle to mimic the color of the watch just as you see. Select the type tool and type the following text. Touch screen, Bluetooth, 5 grams SIM and camera. Make the value of the text 2.5 point and make the thickness extra light. Alight the text together with the circle just as you see me to in these videos so that everything will align into perspectives. Now let's select all the text and other placeholder and group them and name them accordingly text and text one. Now let's make our page turnover icons. Select the ellipse tool and right click the background and from the pop out menu make the width 65 pixels and the height 65 pixels and hit OK to make the circle. Then duplicate the circle set it according to our design perspective as see you me do. Now set the fill value to none from the shape properties panel, and set the value of the stroke to 2 pixel. Now select one of the text and duplicate and rename it more and make it bold. Then select the 2 circle and a light to the text and make it sit according to the perspective of the design as you see in this video. Now let's drag in our arrow icon to the circle, then hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform the icon and resize it. Also change the color to white by going to the bottom of the layer panel and select effect and from the pop out menu select color overlay and change the color to white. Move the arrow icon into the middle of the circle and resize it accordingly. Then duplicate the arrow icon and move it to the other circle just as you see me do in this video. Then hit Ctrl plus T on Windows or Command plus T on Mac to transform the icon, then right click the selected icon, and from the pop out menu select flip horizontal. Then set according to design perspectives. The select the circle and the arrow icon and group them and rename it arrow. Now let's add top navigator text to the design. Select the type tool and type watches then move it and place it on top of the text placeholder we have make earlier at the top left side of the design just as you see in these video. And adjust it accordingly. Duplicate the text and rename it smartphone. Duplicate the text again and rename it TV application. Then duplicate the text again and rename it laptops. Then adjust all the text accordingly just follow and do what you see me do. Now we are putting finishing torches to the design so I will be making adjustment wherever I think it is needed and this is optional. Like I said we are putting finishing torches to the design by making some adjustment wherever I think it is needed. Let's zoom and see. I think we need to adjust the watch shadow a bit, so just do what you see me doing. Let's group the ungrouped layer together now by selecting all the text and element we have not yet group and group them, just do what you see me do in this video. Our design is done. Thanks for watching, if you like what I am doing you can support us by subscribing to these channel, like, share and leave us a comment. You can also contact me for special design like these. See you on my next video.